As North Carolina reports its first deaths related to coronavirus, counties across the state are taking steps to keep people at home. From WREL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Wednesday, March 25, 2020. I'm Cliff Bumgardner. Here's the latest from WREL.com. North Carolina has reported its first deaths from the coronavirus. According to Governor Cooper's office, a 70-plus-year-old Cabarrus County resident and a 60-plus-year-old person from Virginia who was traveling through North Carolina died on Tuesday of complications from COVID-19. Speaking at a press conference this afternoon, Dr. Mandy Cohen, Secretary of the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, said more deaths from the virus are likely to come. I know this is really hard, but we need to be vigilant to save lives. So I ask my fellow North Carolinians, please hear our request today to maximize your social distancing. Our mandates are a minimum, and I hope you're going well beyond those mandates to protect our communities. As of recording, at least 528 people in North Carolina have tested positive for the coronavirus. Today, Durham Mayor Steve Shule issued a stay-at-home order for the city amid the COVID-19 pandemic, instructing residents to remain at home except when absolutely necessary, and saying the order was essential in combating the spread of the virus. If we're going to stop the spread of the virus, this is our window. We can't wait until we are inundated with cases and our health care system is stretched to the limit. Acting then is way too late. It is exactly now, when we don't have many cases, that we have to act to suppress the virus. Mayor Shule said Durham County officials are working on a similar order. All this comes after Mecklenburg County and Pitt County issued their own stay-at-home orders on Tuesday. Meanwhile, Wake County has said it will announce a similar order tomorrow. So far, Governor Cooper's office has resisted calls for a statewide shelter-in-place order. The challenges facing local businesses during the coronavirus crisis are unprecedented. But if you're a local business owner trying to survive, Capital Broadcasting Company and WREL are here to help. Join our free local business virtual conference series starting Thursday, March 26th at 2 p.m. There, we'll have local business experts ready to share critical things you can do for your business right now. To register, just go to WREL.com backslash webinar. From WREL TechWire, a Triangle Technology company is bringing virtual nurses to hospitals fighting the coronavirus pandemic. Cary-based audiovisual company Telehealth Services has teamed up with Nebraska-based Banyan Medical Systems to provide telenursing to hospitals currently fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. The system will provide nurses who can supplement local hospital crews and monitor COVID-19 patients remotely via video from out-of-state medical call centers and from virtual nursing stations within the walls of the hospital itself. By minimizing direct contact between patients and staff, hospitals hope to help slow the spread of the virus. Telehealth says the system has already rolled out in California, and they're looking for ways to implement it here in their home state. Already, there are 16 hospitals in North Carolina that employ telehealth integrated platforms, including Duke Raleigh, UNC Rex, Atrium Health, and many in the UNC system. Lastly, we want to know what resources you need most during this time. If you have questions or concerns about the virus, or even ideas on how best to pass the time during self isolation, or anything else you'd like to share, we want to hear from you. We've set up a voicemail box for the entire podcast network where you can get in touch with us. We'll be listening to your messages and we may even answer your questions directly on a future podcast. So give us a call. The number is 919-351-9330. Again, that's 919-351-9330. This has been your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. If you like the news and information you're getting from the podcast, please give us a rating and a review on whatever app you use. It makes a big difference and helps us get to other listeners who may need this info too. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our new episodes posted daily by 5 p.m. Thanks for listening.